I'm going to show you how to access the service menu and remove all the brightness restrictions on these LG OLED TVs. So now those restrictions are there for a reason. And you know that these OLED TVs can burn in, okay? And LG is not comfortable in having all that brightness uh, unleashed uh, by default, okay? So also the disclaimer that I am not an expert, I am not somebody who can tell you for sure how risky this is but I am showing you my videos all the time and I want to show you what I am doing okay and I want to show you what I'm gonna be using okay the source also I'm going to post the link on the description of the video with the source the first video I saw uh, showing this and explaining what it does was a classy classy he's an expert he's a professional calibrator and he does not recommend what I'm gonna show you here okay so you do your research uh, also watch that video uh, from classy and you decide whatever you want to do so the only reason to try to get as much brightness as you can on these uh, OLED TVs is basically black frame insertion motion pro and that was the reason why I got this TV <laughs> that's why because black frame insertion at 120 frames it is amazing so when you move the camera it's just a dream so but it's not bright enough when you turn that on it's not bright enough so let me show you the settings i have right now so you understand the differences we are talking about here so i am on sdr right now and on sdr i have max out the contrast brightness and gamma 2.2 and I have just color auto detect 150 so and I have black frame insertion let me show you I have black frame insertion in on okay so you see on high that from black frame insertion is on high so I am getting enough brightness to use black frame insertion on SDR so so far I've been recommending the only way to get black from insertion is with that HLG trick, uh, turn mapping on, dynamic turn mapping on. And you can also use black from insertion in some HDR games. Uh, most of them, really, when you turn on dynamic turn mapping, is going to allow you to use that black from insertion. Uh, most of them. Not all of them, but yeah, it should be bright enough. But I'm going to show you how to do it, my settings on the service menu. And I'm gonna show you what it does, the differences on the game, okay? So let me move the camera. So the service menu is going to show on the left side some personal information that's not relevant. So let me, we're going to use the color control app. And with that color control app, we can access the service menu. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a different link on the description of the video to show you where to get this app and how to download it. Uh, I might just post the, the link on this video where to download this app. It's called Color Control. Just download that. So to access the service menu here, you just go to Options. You select uh, Show. So you go here to Options. You select Show Advanced Actions under the Expert button. When you click here, you're going to get a huge uh, warning. Hey. Are you sure you want to enable these actions? Uh, these features might cause irreversible damage to your TV and will void your warranty. Okay? This app and its creator are in no way accountable for any damages it might cause to your TV. Okay? So this is going <laughs> this is going beyond the limits and accessing the service menu is not something uh, you should do. If you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what you want to do okay so I do not know what I'm doing but I'm taking I'm willing to take the risk okay I did my research I am okay with it and I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna show you so you have the knowledge so you can do your research and you can decide if this makes sense for you or not so when I also showing you my videos oh this looks amazing you know what I'm doing 
and why how I'm getting those results so we come here we click on expert and we click on in start and that's gonna give you access to the service menu so I'm gonna move the camera so you don't see any of the personal information stuff uh, okay so what we're doing here and what I've been doing all this time and I showed this already is I, I've been turning off this TPC and uh, GSR okay but the new thing the new thing and I'm gonna also I'm gonna post a link in the description explaining you what this TPC and GSR is and and all of that but the new thing that I'm trying that I didn't want to try was to change this module HDR from normal to auto from to on basically so what's the difference you can barely tell the difference okay <laughs> so you just do it like this and you're going to see a minor difference but that minor difference is the difference between being able to see on SDR when you are using black from insertion so being able to see on the darkness and not barely uh, you know, almost not being able to see everything so when you have this on normal and on the settings on the TV you have 100% brightness 100% contrast and you also have peak brightness enabled the difference between normal and on is minimal okay it's minimal but that is on your eyes so your eyes cannot detect you know all the brightness increase that is going on here so that minimal difference is actually a lot okay it might be like a hundred nits more okay so when we see those minor differences that's that's actually a lot so that's what I'm trying I didn't want to try this I saw that classy video he said, I do not recommend you to do this, but I'm going to show you what it does. He explains, and I said, okay, I'm not going to use it. He, he's an expert. He's not recommending you to do it, uh, and I was not okay with using it. So I've been using the HLG trick with dynamic tone mapping on, which is is even is wrong too. So, But I was like, okay, with HLG at least... Uh, you know it's just HDR so this TV is capable of HDR uh, so I don't see any problem with that but now that I tried this I am seeing what it's doing uh, the HLG with Tom mapping on is even brighter I'm gonna show you that but the difference is not going to be so the difference between what I was doing okay and this new thing you see the black frame insertion is now showing the flickering let me see if I can remove it yeah so the difference I'm gonna show you was the difference between this SDR with that brightness unleashed and the HLG with Tom mapping on that I was doing that I was using so I'm going to change this to HLG so I have right now HLG with Tom mapping off no black frame insertion so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on black frame insertion on high and I'm going to turn on dynamic tone mapping and I'm gonna tell you the difference that I see with my eyes okay so this dynamic tone mapping on with the HLG trick it is giving me more visibility in the darkness but the SDR option looks better for the colors look better the colors look more correct and it look they look less washed out and sharper so it is a better option so if I change from this HLG to the SDR option I'm sure on the video you cannot tell the difference in front of me it's not easy to tell the difference but I can see that HLG uh, with that dynamic tone mapping it is giving me a slightly better visibility on the darkness okay so the shadow detail it is uh, more visible so now in terms of how much more that SDR 
uh, option is pushing the panel. I don't know, but I guess that the difference is going to be if you have a full white screen or if you have most of the of the screen uh, with brightness, maybe the dynamic tone mapping is going to be dimmer. But that's just me guessing. I, I don't have instruments to test that. That's what I think might happen. So the dynamic tone mapping option that I've been doing so f that I've been using so far might be less risky. Might be. That's my guess. It might be less risky. And at the same time it gives you more visibility on the shadow. So I think on this shot you can see it better. See? This SDR option is dimmer. So here I did I did see it clearly. So the HLG option with dynamic tone mapping, it gives me better visibility. Clearly. Okay. So what's the difference? Okay. It yeah, it does give me better visibility. Uh but this is visible. The SDR now becomes usable, even with that black frame insertion on high. So what's the difference? Why would I use this SDR option instead of the HLG, the colors. The colors look more correct. You don't have that red push uh, that happens with HLG. Uh, the colors look less washed out. They look sharper. The image looks a little bit sharper. It looks less washed out, looks more correct. Uh, the HLG option does give me some HDR flare, like if I see some electricity, like I was showing on that video, some electricity, uh, it looks more impressive uh, with the HLG option. But this is definitely, I mean, a, a better picture quality, okay, in terms of the, you know, accuracy, because this is not like completely incorrect, like what I'm doing basically with this HLG. In terms of color accuracy, it cannot be it cannot be perfect because basically I am forcing the color gamut on on native. Not now I have SDR, but with the HLG option I have the color gamut on native 50, a uh, warm 50. So now most people might even prefer that option in terms of the colors because we like overly saturated colors. Um, that's why you go to the store, you see all the all the TVs are on vivid mode. That's why, because we like it. And to be honest, most of the shots, I cannot even tell the difference. Uh, but yeah, I know what the difference is, so it is easier for me to notice it. But yeah, it is what it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Definitely watch uh, that classy video. I can definitely recommend his channel. I watch all his videos. I've been following him since I bought this TV and I learn a lot from him. And yeah, I am still going to figure out how to get the colors right with this HLG trick because in terms of the luminance, it looks fantastic. Like if we don't, if I don't use black frame insertion here and if I use just dynamic, you know, the tone mapping off, and turn off black frame insertion. This looks just unbelievable. Like the HDR effect is, effect is amazing. So the colors are not perfect. Okay, I'm gonna fix the colors. <laughs> so I will figure it out. And I know it is possible. I know it is possible. And I will figure it out. And I will get the colors right with this HLG trick for everybody. Uh, me personally, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna play most of the games like this because I just love black frame insertion. So <laughs> even when I get you know a perfect HDR game like Far Cry, I'm amazed with it. I love it. But when I turn on black frame insertion and I do this, I can go. I cannot go back. <laughs> it looks too good. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.